How's it going guys? It's Joe. Welcome to the channel. Today's another episode of Grand Arena here and I'm going against this gentleman and Dib. He's got about 700k more than I do in terms of GP and he's got so many relics as you can see he's got 18 uh, relic 5s and 13 relic 1 so he really outnumbers me in relics he's got more mods than me as well about seven more 20 plus and let's get right into it just to show you a little bit of his roster here he's rank one in arena at the moment he's got gas pretty much everyone that i've got as well and a bit more than that so it looks like he's got a Grievous and a Separatist lineup at the top here. At the bottom is a Night Sister and Geonosian squad. Um, so I wanted to start off with going against this um, with my Sith Empire. I um, very unusually placed a lot of weak defensive squads. In this particular grand arena i just felt like being able to utilize my offensive squads this time around and see how i go so at the beginning here i'm tr i'm stuck behind a taunt and i've got a wat tambor waiting there in the back i place the fear and i'm gonna shock magna guard there and now i can go for wat tambor in the back i threw the grenade drop wat tambor and now i've got grievous who i can hit here now and he's got death mark getting him out of the way there and Sith Empire is probably the most reliable team when going against Grievous the only problem here is whenever you're going against Grievous you want to look at the team that allows you to have the most optimal amount of banners and unfortunately I don't get that much banners from using Sith Empire against Grievous um, at the top here, I was thinking of using my first order squad against this newt. Well, initially I wanted to use my empire. However, I just decided on using my first order instead. And this is a very reliable first order team, guys. Um, it's super strong. I've got the leadership on Kyler and Unmasked adding about 30 speed to everyone. And Hux has about 290, which effectively gives him 320 speed. I'm going to pass that turn meter on to First Order Officer and then pass it on to Sith Trooper. And as you can see, that offense up um, second AoE ability does so much damage and it just blasts through everyone so easily. So at this point, I've got, uh, I've got damage immunity on Droidica. So I'm going to go for L3. And we get L3 out of the way there. It was too bad that Droidica stripped us of a little bit of our banners there from hitting the panda. I'm going to cleanse and I'm going to pass this on to Sith Trooper here. He's still got damage immunity at the moment. Pass it back on to First Order Officer and let's do our party trick right then and there. Put a stun on and I could not regain that protection that I had lost initially. 56 banners there. So as you can see guys, the theme of this particular Grand Arena is that I was pretty much just chasing banners the whole game. This guy was very efficient in what he did on offense and he's got about 1,909 banners. So I wanted to be as efficient as I could be as well. So I had to underdog some teams here. Although they weren't optimal underdogs, I've got to say I should have thought it through more. I was in a hurry for this as I was getting ready to go to work. Not a very, not a valid excuse, but you know I probably should have um, thought of my strategy a bit more here. So I've got a Jedi squad that I'm undersizing against this Night Sister team. It's a pretty subpar Night Sister team, so. I'm pretty sure I could deal with it with my three Jedi here. So I'm targeting Asajj Ventress. He, uh, she used her um, dispel at the beginning, which is really good. Um, that's what we want, and that way we know we can use battle meditation and not have our buffs dispelled early on. It's a very squishy Asajj, so I just decided to go for her 
at the beginning. Spread those buffs around and I'm going to use my AOE here and just the basic just stuck behind the zombie for a minute. And now we can finally go for our Sarge and Daka doesn't have the revive. So drop Daka as well. And we are about to hit the spirit here. And finally drop the Night Sister Zombie for 59 banners. So really a lot of my mistakes that I made here were I undersized too much. I probably really should have focused on getting the 60 banners. Because looking back when I calculated this, if I had been able to 60 banner every single one of them, I could have won by one banner in this fight. So this is my Galactic Republic here going against the Geo squad. It's a, it's a pretty weak Geo Brute Alpha G12. However, he's got three other Geos there with relics. Um, it was pretty easy for Galactic Republic. As soon as you drop Geo Brood Alpha there, it's pretty much game set and match. So this was a very efficient fight for me. I was able to hit Geo Spike early on as well, which is good. And now slowly getting through while trying to regenerate as much protection as I can for the 60 banners here. So in the back it looks like he's got a First Order and Bounty Hunter at the top, he's got a Resistance and Old Republic at the bottom. The problem with Bounty Hunters is no matter how low geared they are or if, whether they're relict or not, they usually strip a lot of banners away just because of how Dengar and Bosk work and it can be very annoying. So I still have gas here in the back and I opted to use gas against this really relicked up first order squad it looks like this guy is ready for the new kylo ren um, which is good for him i'm trying to work up towards that as well as i have um, my first order a bit more relicked up than my resistance at this point so i've got armor shred on kylo ren and mask and i'm just looking at which character he has the most turn meter and I really probably should have gone for OG Kylo because he's the one that will strip the most um, protection out of my team. So I drop Kylo and Unmask here. This guy takes away a bit of my protection there. And it's just unfortunate that, you know, such a strong team will only ever achieve 56 banners against this first order squad. So at the bottom, We've still got resistance. And looking at this teams, I think I calculated at this point that if I was able to achieve 60 banners in all of them, that I probably could have won by one banner. But even at um, even a rebel squad like this against this resistance team, I found it quite hard to um, perfect in that sense where I didn't lose any banners or I didn't lose any protection. So I'm going to go for Ray last here and she still got a bit of foresight so I kept on dodging those attacks and once I got to her I I've already lost that much protection on Chewbacca. So I might leave this Old Republic squad here for last. Just checking out my roster here and who I've still got on. So I'm really glad that I got Django um, relicked up. I quite enjoy using him in different squads. He's got a really good leadership, although I haven't got the Zeta on his leadership yet. He's got a lot of scoundrel synergy and 
Um, he's currently my passion project. So at the top here, I've got the Bounty Hunter squad. So the other thing that I thought of in retrospect was that if I had gotten 60 banners in this particular fight, that would have made a ton of difference. However, I used my Treya squad here in order to isolate Bosk and in order to pretty much just annihilate Django. However, it wasn't optimal as I wanted it to be in terms of banners. And it was very unfortunate. So I wanted to get ability block onto Django here. And I wanted to spread the pain around so I can do more damage. At this point, I'm going to go for Boba. Cad Bane's pretty tanky. And I've got Isolate on Bosk still, so he's unable to effectively taunt. And the MVP for this team is really Nihilus. If you've got a really fast Nihilus, it's, um, he's such a quality character. Getting to that Annihilate really quick is key to a lot of these um, Grand Arena teams. So I lost so much protection on Treya and I actually thought I would lose her at one point. And the other thing I could have done here was probably add another character that adds protection, such as um, Thrawn. So a lot of this has to do with my strategy since um, the opposing player had already done his bit in Grand Arena and he showed how many banners he was able to achieve. The, the other problem was I could have used my resistance squad against this, however I didn't have BB-8 as I put him on defense this time around. So I'm going to use Held by Hatred here and I'm going to spread more pain. And Django hits like a truck, and it's not even a relic Django, it's a gear 12. And he almost dropped my Treya there. I'm actually, I'm a huge fan of Django in this game. He's got um, so many uses with his um, healing immunity that he applies. He's got a revive. And um, if you put him on, a, on the leader slot, his burn doesn't allow for the opposing team to gain turn meter so there's so much so many uses for that in this game I'm just going for Boba Fett now and I'm gonna spread a little bit more pain here and at this point I was thinking what could I do here to gain the optimal amount of banners that I wanted And I prob really probably should have just used my basic there and still tried to gain more banners. But really you want to get rid of Dengar because um, eventually he's going to throw those grenades and he's going to strip you of your protection anyway. So I dropped them with my 3 and I still got the 60 banners there. I was hoping for 62 but that's a, that's a really tough call. So this is me calculating how many banners I still need here towards the end and it looks like I need about 63. And you know if you've gone up against a, a ton of old Republic squads they're not to be underestimated. Especially if um, you've got a, a really well modded mission in Zalba, they can be really troublesome and they can just strip you of all your banners just from the assists that they get. And if you're stuck behind that Zalba taunt, it can be really frustrating. So at this point, I'm looking at what I could, what team I could possibly use that can still regain protection and health. But at the same time, have enough DPS to get past this Zelbar. Thrawn's pivotal in this team, as if I'm able to fracture Zelbar, then I don't have to worry about him as much. And Django is my primary DPS at this point. 
I thought about Shakti because she does um, regain a bit of uh, protection. She's got a couple of um, skills that allow for that. And I've got Thrawn as well. So just reading on Assault Team here. If, if the character is an attacker, they gain stealth and critical chance up. So I'm going to throw that onto Django. Just to add to that little bit of DPS that we may need. I'm going to fracture Zalbar straight away and I'm going to hit Karth with my missile there. Got a bit of offense up from that basic. Gain a little bit of protection back on Django as well. We've got a taunting Johani here and it's nice to have a dispel on the basic as well from Shakti. And we now we've got that burn from Django. We're just going to keep chipping down um, Kandor's auto here. We're going we're gonna to give more critical chance up here and we're going to recover a little bit of protection on Shakti. Now we're going to go for mission and once I get to Mission's Health, Zalbar is going to taunt again. That's just how that mechanic works. Was able to dispel Zalbar here. And Mission is invisible at the moment, so I had to go for Johani, but Django hits like a truck. As you can see um, on that basic 40k damage. I'm going to fracture Zalbar here again, and I'm just going to slowly recover a little bit more protection here so at this point I was thinking to myself I don't think I can win this I mean I can full clear this Grand Arena Championship however I really um, ran out of banners here towards the end I should have been able to get 63 banners in this fight to effectively win by one point. Which would have been really tough. Thinking in retrospect is really hard because you never know what's in the back lines. I was, um, I guess thinking that there could be something harder, there could be harder squads in the back line waiting and that's always the trouble with Grand Arena. It's a lot of um, guessing I guess and strategizing ahead of time. I lost by one banner here guys and it was a tough loss however it was still a fun Grand Arena and um, I really enjoyed it. So I hope you guys liked the content, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.